Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Portia, aka Ironworker Baoxia. So, today I'm following in the footsteps of more popular YouTubers such as Desi Perkins and Samaj and kind of giving you guys the tea of more of, you know, not necessarily talking about you know, new products that I like, excuse that, um, new products that I'm like loving or stuff that I've discovered or what's new at the drugstore, but I kind of talking to you guys as if you're my friends and um, talking about why I've pretty much been absent from YouTube, you know, um, it's been you know, it's been rough, um, and I have this pesky little fly that will not die. So if I saw it a few times, excuse that, I am sorry, he got in my house and I don't know how the hell to get him out. And my fly saw it broke. It broke. It literally in half and broke. So yeah, I've been like punching the air and swatting and it's just been annoying AF. But I'm not here to talk about that fly. I'm here to talk about me, to disclose why I've pretty much been absent. Not everything as to why I've been absent, but kind of um, touch on why I have been absent from YouTube. Um, you know, so if you want to see all that, make sure you keep on watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, with all that said, I'm going to just pretty much go on into pretty much who I am what I'm about and pretty much talking about why I've, like I said, been absent. Um, so, you know, like I said before, I am Portia, aka Ironworker Baoxia, in case you guys did not know how to pronounce it, because I know it is a little bit tough to pronounce my username, Ironworker Baoxia. Um, Baoxia is my Chinese name. I do speak Mandarin Chinese as well as Spanish and I have a reading comprehension of Italian. And of course, I speak English in case you didn't, couldn't figure that out. Um, I'm currently 29 years old. Um, I am originally from Houston, Texas. I've been in New York City for the past 11 years and um, I am really an iron worker. Um, I'm a union iron worker and I've been a union iron worker for almost eight years september 1st i'll be starting my ninth year being a union iron worker and i really 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 love it um it has helped me fuel my makeup obsession my um uh, my love of makeup and all that good stuff so yeah i do love all things makeup i have a vanity i have makeup storage in the bag this bag is pretty much what i carry with me on a daily basis what i deem my essentials for my look from day to night and anything in between. But, um, you know, as I look back, 11 years in New York City, it, it has gone by so, 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 so fast. And um, I, um, I, I, I do a lot of reflection and, you know, I, I've come to realize that in, in my time being here, I've had my heart broken twice um, you know once the first time by somebody that I thought I would have my happy ever after with um, you know 29 you know it, I have six more months and then not even six more months like five and a half months and um, I'll be 30 and you know a lot of my friends and my classmates have you know, they've all gotten married or they're engaged and they've had families and everything. And, um, I, I haven't gotten to that point. And, um, you know, I thought I would have been at that point already. But like I said, um, I had my heart broken. Um, I was with somebody that I thought was going to be the person I would marry in have my happy ever after with and have kids with and everything and the age difference didn't even bother me to be honest um we were doing so good but then you know scheduling the first 
a little it was a little over two years of the first part of our relationship um you know i was doing my apprenticeship for my iron working career and everything and um so he would work nights i would work days so when i was coming in he was getting ready to go to work when i was when i left for work he hadn't even gotten home from work and then the days that he had off tuesday and wednesday wednesdays i actually had school so i wasn't getting home till 8 30 i would eat and go to sleep so there's really only one day that we could spend together and um he spent a lot of it hanging out playing chess and everything and <sighs> And then we started sleeping in separate bedrooms because, you know, he said that my alarm would wake him up and we stopped being intimate and then, you know, and then he moved away for a few months and then, you know, it was just, it was just hit after hit after hit after hit. And, um, you know, it just, you know, the day after my, the day after my birthday, my 26th birthday I found some stuff on his phone that I just was not appreciating especially in light of, of the fact that we weren't being intimate and weren't sleeping in the same room like you know it was already in a we were already in a bad spot and then um you know that kind of just you know we, we we slowly chug 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 to the fourth year and then um the relationship went kaput and um, still hurts. Three years later, it still hurts so much. And then um, I met somebody else and I thought that um, they would have been good and um, that we could have been a good, strong power couple. And, um, you know, they broke my heart. and. They don't feel like they broke my heart, but they did break my heart. And um, we're friends now, and we live next door to each other. But um, to have your heart broken twice in a year span, pretty much, that's a rough one to write out. It really is. So, you know, right now, you know, 29 and everything, you know, I'm just trying to keep anything that happens in my life private. So, um, you know, coming home to an empty house is so hard, you know what I mean? I just, you know, deep down back in my head, I'm like, could I be a good girlfriend, you know what I mean? I mean, there's so many thoughts that go through my head and so many questions I ask myself. And I just hope that, you know, whoever is next has the patience and understanding to understand my story and that I'm really just really a good person you just you gotta work with me because a lot of damage has been done <laughs> and um, you know there's a lot of fears there that I worry so much about you know and I don't want to wait till I'm like you know 45 to get married and then you know or i just don't want to be alone for the rest of my life you know and sitting there looking at everybody you know and wondering if there's something wrong with me it hurts you know it really hurts you know and i never want to hurt anybody that i love I never do. And then to compound things I've had, like, you know, my own health problems. I'm sorry, I have to apologize. My neighbors have been obnoxious with their music. Um, and I just, you know, I've had health problems and everything. And that hasn't made me feel any better, you know, about myself. And because it's genetically inherited her doctor's words um i worry that when i have kids what if i pass it to them i don't want the world to give them judgment and everything and so that's pretty much why i haven't been as you know goo gaga about filming new 
YouTube content because every time I think about it, I just feel like it's it's a chore. I just I don't know. I don't know. I worry. Maybe I worry too much, but I worry. <sighs> and then you know, I've been under a lot of stress and everything, and you know, I just there's so much that goes through my head. I just some nights I just I cry. I cry and I pray for strength. So yeah, that's pretty much where I've been. I'm hoping soon to be able to get to new content and be able to film because so many new things that not necessarily new on the market. Some are new on the market. Some have been around for a minute, but new to me that I've discovered and that I've been loving, such as foundation I have on my face, which is by what I sell, their new stick foundation at all hours. I already love the liquid and the stick has just been amazing and I have been in love with all things hourglass pure has these these um liquid glitters what I have on my eye that I have been absolutely loving um L'Oreal's um Camila Cabello collection the brow product has been phenomenal phenomenal it is it creates such a realistic hair strokes it is mind blowing if I tell you it's mind blowing, it is mind blowing. And of course, you know, talking about these jars that I love so much from Alcone. They are great in case you want to transport loose powders, put a few to travel with, anything that breaks. I just turned to loose, so I have a bunch of loose bronzers and highlighters. And I feel like it gives such a beautiful, it, I feel like it blends better when it's loose. <laughs> And you're applying it then when it's pressed for some odd reason i don't know why and you know just you know a lot of stuff i have been like in love with and of course talking about what is in my staple makeup bag um but you know with all jokes aside with all that side you know i've been you know stressing and everything and i feel like actually i've um, lost some weight and yeah i have been eating but i've just been kind of pushing that's me pushing food around eating very little because I just I, I get hungry and then I just go to eat and I just don't have much of an appetite and you know I'm at a point where like I'm actually seeing you know I looked in the mirror and actually had you know you can actually feel all my ribs kind of starting to protrude so you know my arm is actually getting you know smaller so yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I have to say today and hopefully you know, I'll be able to do a part two and keep you guys in the loop about what's happening. With all that said, I am done with today's video and like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe to your girl's channel and uh, hopefully I'll have a new video and new content uploaded soon. God dang it fly, always ruining my shot. Anyway, uh, with all that said, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.